in running a reactor core, the center core was never found. This is exactly what has happened. The creation of the field so much that has forced the trajectory with its own plasmatic gravitational field that no matter exists. Because the field strength is so much higher that does not allow any other process. Now you understand. Gradually, the physics of plasma becomes very sweet to understand. This has been clear to me for over 30, 40 years. I understood it at very young age that, and this is what I was always discussing with the nuclear physicists and the other scientists, that present physics does not answer. But, in so many ways, if we could all understand this, it brings a lot of changes. It brings a lot of new understanding. You can trajectory this into anything you like. It will not destroy, but in a way, it delivers such a huge amount of energy, that by itself, the entity cannot accept. And then, in that process, the entity will come to receive a higher energy, and by doing so, it creates a totally new dimension. And this is what we have been trying to explain, and this is what it has been done up to now. The process of understanding is simple. The addition to the knowledge for those who have become nuclear physicists and atomic physicists, now that we have taught further and deeper into knowledge of the plasma and the soul, we can go from one to another. We can go to the depth of the reality to understand that the new dimension, the new tools of a space for man is so much easier to operate under that does not need anything but the total understanding of the structure of the physical entities in dimension of the plasma strength. Any questions before I go any further and lose a lot of you? Uh, sir, we lost your video and your audio quite a bit in your explanation, so we missed quite a Hello. bit of the concepts. Sorry, you can bar barely hear you there, John. <clears throat> Ah, uh, I say we missed part of your video and your Hello. audio, and uh, it's the most important part of the audio, the explanation, the concepts. Can you hear me? Hello, Mr. Kesh, can you hear me? Yes, I had you on the mute. I'm okay. trying to work with the two systems here. Carry on, please. Uh, John was just uh, stating that it was hard to hear some of the things that you were. Um, showing us and presenting here and teaching because of the cutouts uh so what shall we do shall we go home and come back tomorrow maybe he mm -hmm. was not ready to hear that part well maybe we just have to work it through a little uh, more in more detail um we have an unstable set today and this is causing problem with both systems we have unstable condition mm -hmm. Maybe, as I said, man wasn't ready for decades and centuries, maybe he's not ready yet again. Well, what we explain, what, what I have explained is, that the process of the division of the neutron, for the first time we can explain, that is, the center of neutron itself, as you look at the structure of the core,
course, rotating course, which they have a center, and the fields, and then you have the matter states or the Gans state, as by rotation you create a center, the way we have seen and we explained in the structure of the soul of the man, the brain of the man, now we understand the center of the neutron is the same and he has a center, where by the change of the fields in this environment, then the center divides and the balance of the energy, what is left here, becomes the proton and what is in the center is electron, with a higher power that it can carry on, with this random motion. In fact, if we look, we understand, the whole three are the same. In the life of the man, when the blood circulation, which is surrounding the brain of the man, changes through the misfunctioning or a stoppage of the heart, the environment changes and forces the release of the soul into a new dimension. So, the creation of the soul and the division or the, not the creation, the release of the soul from the center of the structure of the physicality of the man. The same way as a neutron division, which is electron and proton, is exactly the same. And then, as I explained, if you remember, some of us who did the test, creating deliberately a center core, a second core and a third core, or we had a center core created in the middle, we have found some of our cores, have disappeared, or we have lost them, we cannot find them. They have gone through the same process, where the field forces in the surrounding, has forced the trajectory process. So, in all three, the creation of the, the release of the soul of man, and the division of the neutron, or in the same as with the cores, where we see the release of the inner core, is all the same. Now we understand. But, now, once we understood this, and we can elevate the knowledge of the man, we can dictate on the direction of this trajectory, or on the direction of the release of what you call the electron. This gives man a new dimension in the world of physics, a new understanding, and this will be written in the books of physics as a new chapter, going further into the structure of the material, going further in the structure of the plasma technology. As I said, Plasma technology is the next step after atomic and nuclear. Now, we spoke with the fields, now we have to speak. When we say nuclear, it means we deal with the nucleus. Now we are going inside the nucleus, and we have parallels, so we can relate one to another. We can go from macro to micro, we can go from the brain of the man, into the neutron structure, and a man-made system, which confirms and complies with the same rules and regulations in the space. This is what, as I said, will shock the world of nuclear physics. For the first time, not only we say, neutron is a plasma, electron is a plasma, proton is a plasma, we can show the birth of proton and electron, we can show how and where they are. In fact, it's the center itself, which due to the change in the surrounding, in the strength, gets released. And in its release, trying to find a new balance, it creates a new life for itself. And this comes back to be the same. That's why we see not much change in the size of the electron, uh, sorry, proton and neutron. Because it's the center which has changed, and now this in rotation and the forces from this, have to create a second process, and this will go on. It's the same as the creation of life on this planet and the universe. But if we understand and we can use, dictate the direction of the flow of the release of even our own spaceship within the plasma which we created, where we make our craft to be the center with the massive field forces around it, and dictating the release direction, we can travel the spans of universe beyond imagination of the man. And this is where we are going to. But at the same time, once we understand this, it opens a new era in the world of the peace. With this, we can release so much energy that no weapon, present weapon made by man, will be able to stand the energy release at this level, be it electron or proton.
So, if I change my jacket, my jacket doesn't disappear, it becomes a jacket of a aircraft carrier. The central depletes all energy from every element. Now you understand. 